Okay, Lion, which are we an analyzing? One, you, or two? I think it's pretty obvious. It's not you, Lion. It's them. I'm gonna start recording. Hey guys, sorry for that intro, but either way, like and subscribe and hope you have a good day. This is the Arizona Cardinals roster, um, roster grades, QB running back, all that junk. Either way, like and subscribe, hope you have a good day and enjoy this video. Won't be too long, just like and subscribe, hope you have a good day. Okay, as we get into this, of course you have QB. Running back, wide receiver, tight end, O-line, D-line, linebacker, cornerback, safety, Special teams, offense, defense, and then just the overall grade from all these. Uh, your grades are A, B, C, D, and F. I ignore E. E is like, I don't know. E is like, I don't know. E is nothing. Either way. So, looking at their roster, it's pretty simple. Uh, I'm going to go for quarterback first, then... Running back, wide receiver, tight end, O line, all that junk. Either way, starting off a quarterback. Kyler Murray's a really good quarterback. Like I said, I really like him. He's definitely he's on the French top ten. He's not a great passer. He needs to work on his passing. He's a good passer. He's not a great one. And most importantly, he needs to make sure he doesn't. He's not banged up this year because he's a big part of their offense, especially in the running game. And he can, of course, he's their passer. Colt McCoy is an okay backup, but he's not great. Chris Stryver is terrible. You don't want him starting. So we're gonna look at uh, his PFF. So yeah, I am looking at all of them, but let's just look at the PFF for all these guys. PFF grade, of course, they're all locked. Either way, what I was gonna say is like say is Kyler Murray, of course, number one. All all these are, set, but look at his stats. Uh, if he's five ten, two thousand two hundred seven pounds. Of course, that's not great, but Still, still a really good player, and that's where I'm going to create him. So for QB, it's a B. So I'm just going to put a line. QB, it's a B, and now it's going to running back. So this, this running back is really bad. Um, to say, to say this running back is good is, an, is, uh, like, you have to be really weird and really biased to say that, because Chase Edmonds, eh, James Conner, eh, I'm just gonna X this out, because, well, I'm gonna X it out, either way, Chase Edmonds, eh, like I said, James Conner, eh, Eno Benjamin, even more, eh, and Jonathan Ward, no one knows who he is, isn't he, like, a second-year player, whatever, he's not very good. So, they're going to get a fat C. C for running backs. That means nothing, but either way. Sorry that cut. Uh, either way, we're going to wide receivers. This is actually a very strong point of this offense. Of course, you know there's DeAndre Hopkins. He's one of the best. He's the best receiver in the NFL. AJ Green's a very good receiver. Also, he's definitely in that B range. B, B minus. He's a good receiver. Christian Kirk, he's okay. Rondell Moore is going to be very good. I have him C minus right now because he just needs to develop. Keyshawn Johnson, he is very, very uh, average. He's also at a C minus. And Isabella, yeah, whatever. Rico, uh, he's just a returner. Rico Gafford's and eh. AJ Richardson's terrible. JoJo Ward's awful. And yeah, that's all. That's really all I have to say about the receiving. But overall, with the depth and everything, it's honestly it's not that bad. And it's not an A caliber, but it's definitely a B. I'm not gonna give out a ton of A's because I have to treat an A like it's elite. That's elite position. What's not elite is this team's tight end here. If you know Max Williams, he's he's always been a decent blocking tight end. But after that, it's bad. 
Like even Ian Bunting is on, is is not good. You don't want him on your team. It's like if he if he shows things, whatever. Ross Travis, I've never heard of. To tell you the truth, I've never heard of Ross Travis. Daryl Daniels, heard of him. He can catch some balls, but he's nothing special. DJ uh, and then Max Williams, of course, is eh. He, he can catch some balls, but he does nothing with it. He's not the type of guy you want to catch the ball. And for them, it's a D because. They have a blocker, but they don't have a guy who can catch the ball. If they kept Darren Arnold to go up to a C, as at least they're versatile. What I, what I wanted to say is, it's just not good. What is a lot better is though is their offensive line, which improved a lot. DJ Humphreys has always been average. He gets paid like that a lot better because he's a decent blocker. That's basically it. Justin Pugh has always been good. Rodney Hudson is the best center in the NFL. Justin Murray's bad. Uh, Brian Winters is a little better. Shaq, uh, Cal um. Calhoun is really underrated, and Max Garcia is whatever. Kelvin Beecham, like I said, he's a decent offensive lineman. Like, these two guys are pretty good. Rodney Hudson and Justin Pugh are decent. You need to put Brian Winters in there because Justin Murray's never been good. Justin Murray, he's their backup there. And then Brandon Bowen, whatever. What I wanted to say is it's a good offensive line with decent depth. Like, Coda Martin, whatever. Uh, Michael, Michael Mennett, he's always been just average. Josh Jones, when he played, he was awful. I just want to say that, like, these guys, all these backup, Joshua Miles, if you have put him in, it's not the worst thing. Cody Martin, he's not definitely not the worst thing. Michael Mennett, we haven't seen much from him. From him, I can literally show you his stats. It's just getting low as fast. Either way, Brian Winters, he's very solid. And Jack Calhoun, if, like, last resort, if you need to, he'll be fine. And then, Justin Murray, like I said, he's okay, like, if you need to put him at tackle, he's pretty versatile, but nothing special. Like, Michael Mennett's just a young, inexperienced center. He's a seventh-round pick this year. Let's hope he, let's hope he can start if uh, they need him to at one of the positions because he could be really good. Right now, this offensive line is at a C, though, because of the, the depth isn't bad. It's just not great. Decent offensive line. They have a couple super really good players, but... It just doesn't see, I, I don't see as much as I want to in that team. This thing has to load back up before I can do it. Either way, like and subscribe, of course. This team, it's a really good team, to tell you the truth. Now here's the D-line. This is going to get a really good grade. Here's why. J.J. Watt is awesome. Rashard, Lo Rashard, Rashard Lawrence, I will literally show you him. He is not great. <laughs> If this thing loads, because why does not be good? Rashard Lawrence. Here we go. Fourth round pick in 2020. He could be good. Xavier Williams, he's never been special. David Perry, oof. And then Cam Murray. These, these three guys, I've never heard of. A couple of guys. Leaky Fotu, he's not young, he's pretty old, but he's pretty solid. Jordan Phillips, he used to be a starter, he should be a starter. He's pretty good. Zach Allen is average, but J.J. Watt is awesome. Yeah, he's still old, but he has that leadership, and it really helps his D-line. It's a good D-line. Richard Lawrence, he's developing. Like I said, David Perry's oof. He's not, he's awful. Xavier Williams, he might, he's just got those issues with beating the blockers. It's not exactly staying up with them because not many players in the NFL like him can stand stand up a blocker. He will not be the guy that's gonna get thrown and pancaked. He will stand his ground. He just he's not big he's not he doesn't have that finesse and he doesn't have the moves to get around guys. Jordan Phillips, he's very good at depth. He should probably be the starter. Zach Allen, he's okay. He's always been okay. And I like this D line. It's not maybe not as good as their linebacking core, but it's still pretty good. And it's gonna get a B. As a whole, they're pretty good. Now we go to linebackers, and this 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 is gonna be this is where the team gets good. So wide receiver and um linebackers are where this team gets really good. Like it's not just that, but Dennis Garnack, uh Gardenek and Devon Kennard are good backups. They're they're no slouches. They're two really good slouches. Like Z Ezekiel Turner, like whatever, he's been solid to say the least. But the starters are exceptional. Chandler Jones, one of the best edge rushers in the NFL. He had a down year last year because he was injured the whole season. 
Xavier Collins has been weird. Xavier Collins is a first round draft pick. Wasn't he like the 18th pick? Let me think. 17th, 18th pick. Either way, I think he was 17th. Xavier Collins has some weird stuff. He he got arrested for like a DUI. He's like he just as long as he avoids those things and produces on the field, he's fine and not turning to Antonio Brad. Isaiah Simmons was his working pro prospect uh, progress. Cliff Kingsbury and I uh, needs to uh, help the defense. I forgot. I literally just blanked out on their D coordinator. Either way, Isaiah Simmons just needs to work on the one thing that uh, a lot of rookies have to. He's got the talent. He can play anywhere on the defense. He just has to think. You got to think. Isaiah Simmons develop, and they got to put him in more, to tell you the truth. He was good. He had that huge pick against the Seahawks. He can make plays. We've seen this. And then Jordan Hicks, he shouldn't be a backup. He should be a starter on a team. Probably the Eagles, because the Eagles are desperate. They have Eric Wilson, that's it. Marcus Golden, he's always good on the outside. He was great with the Giants, and that's pro that's all I have to say about him. He's solid. This is an A linebacking unit. As simple as that. They have two young superstars in the making. Those two, they're not superstars. They have two really good guys in the middle. Jordan Hicks, if he needs to, will go in. Chandler Jones is one of the best edge rushers. He's an A, elite. Marcus Golden is a B. He's a very solid off-the-ball linebacker that will do a lot for you. These two guys are studs that can be really good. Young studs, and not many teams have that. Now we go to cornerback, and this is where it gets a little shaky. Darquez Denard, was it? I forgot what team was he on. Might have been the Bengals. Darquez Denard's eh. Robert Alford's actually pretty good. He's, he, he was really, really good on the uh, Falcons, but then he struggled in the Super Bowl. Robert Alford, Darquez Denard are... They're decent. They're getting up to their own age, but they're decent. Byron Mur Murphy has. Well, I have a lot of concerns for. He was really shaky in a couple of the games. He did not look comfortable. He's still a good corner though because he does make big plays every once in a while, and he's young. Malcolm Butler. He's always been. He's been mediocre to above average. Right now he's he's been he was average last year. 2019 he was below average. Last year he was average. He was not the reason that they, right there, he wasn't the main reason their defense stunk. Simple as that. As a Titans defense stuff. But for CB, I'm going to give it a C because you know what you're getting out of Malcolm Butler. You know what you're getting out of Robert Alford. Dark West Denard is a turning wheel. Like I said, he, he's he been shaky. But he's he's made some plays too. By, he, and Baron Murphy, if he's able to stand his ground, he could be a pretty darn good player. Now to the safeties. Man, it's good. Man, it is good. So I'm just a little sick. Jalen Thompson. Oof. He is awesome. He has been their guy at strong safety. Not exactly run support, but coverage. He's one of the best coverage, or most underrated coverage strong safeties in the NFL. Really good. Sean Williams, he's no slouch either. He's a really good backup, and he will get snaps, I guarantee you. Chris Banjo, he's okay. Charles Washington, isn't he like a rookie or something? Whatever, Charles Washington... I just remember hearing about him for the scouting combine, and he didn't, like, he didn't really do anything. That's not the right. That guy's from 1790. No, that's not Charles Washington. Yeah, Charles Washington was never really good. Yeah, that's why he's there. Buda Baker, he's one of the best safeties in the NFL. He's definitely got better at his coverage and finally picked him off. And, of course, if you know the meme, I'm not going to show it on the screen because I have a copyright for it. But either way, yeah, Buda Baker's a really good safety. Deontay Thompson, he is – who is he like? Deontay Thompson is good. I Is he? He's not Darwin Thompson. I've heard of Deontay Thompson. He just has a common last name, but he's a decent safety too. James Wiggins is a bum. Okay, yeah, he's a bum. Some of the stuff, he, he there's players where he puts in no effort. This is not an A because their depth is other. Like Buda Baker's a really good safety. I just can't give it an A. Like their linebackers are really good, but I gotta see both players being A's. I give one an A. I can't give Chris if Jalen Thompson plays like a. Pro Bowl safety, he will get that A. He has in some games. Matt Prater was shaky last year, but he's still a really good kicker. So he's a good kicker. Andy Lee's old. Tyler Newsom is what the heck? He's been oof, very mediocre. Andy, and then 
Special teams, Andy, Isabella, and Chase Edmonds, they're, they're fine at their job. They don't do anything bad. Like, for all I know, they don't get turnovers. Like, their special teams isn't that bad. It's actually pretty good. Like, these guys are both very explosive. Andy Isabella is probably their best return man. I gotta say that. Matt Prater, Andy Lee, both solid options. I'll get a good B. Special teams is pretty good. So you look at their offense, it's B at 2 and uh, a C and a D. Their offense gets a B, and here's why. It's better than the defense. It's a good roster, but their offense, I mean, what the heck. Yeah, their offense gets a B because their O-line is a C just because they don't have that, but they have some, they have two superstars, they have a couple of really good players. That helps. Their running back's going to be an issue. But when you have two, when you have two positions that make up for it, it helps. They get a B. No, just because I'm predicting this, and this is what I'm seeing. And training camp has showed it a lot. They have, they're a solid team. Defense, I'll give their defense a B. They're definitely better than their offense. Like, their D-line has a C, their cornerbacks have a C, but they have two Bs and an A. They get a B. Their offense is definitely better than, than their defense because, one, they, they, they're going to put up more points than they uh, allow. Simple as that. That's, you know, how it works, but the yardage might be very similar. I'm just saying. Overall, I'm giving this team a B. Just because I only have five categories. And, wait. Yeah, five categories. And I can't give them an A. There's not many teams I'm going to be giving A's. Like, it's me rare. C's, most teams. D's, mediocre teams and the Fs are like the three teams that I think are gonna stink. Either way, that's gonna be the end of this Cardinals analyzation. Please like and subscribe and of course the Cardinals gonna be if anyone cares. Either way, like and subscribe. Hope you have a good day and we'll, and enjoy the next bit, couple uh rankings before I go back to the tier rankings. Either way, like and subscribe and hope you have a good day.